a very blessed day to all of you. You know, in our present uh, age and time, I'm sure everybody is familiar with emoji. We use emoji quite a lot, especially in texting to one another. They actually help us to express our feelings, our reaction or responses, and our intention without having to use words. Of all the different kinds of emoji we can use, I think the face emoji is probably one that we use quite frequently. The specific face emoji that we can use actually helps us, you know, by capturing the sentiments that we wish to express. So it's like this, that the, it's the expression that we have on our face whenever, you know, somebody would see us face to face. Well, I'd like to ask to think of um, the face emoji that we would use to let people know how we look like especially after having spent time with God. Really, what expression would we have or would we be wearing on our face after we have spent that intimate encounter with God in our devotions? But today, I'd like to draw your attention to the Bible from Exodus chapter 34, verse 29. Let me read this verse to us. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai, with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand as he came down from the mountain. Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with God. You know, this was when Moses had spent some time, quite some time actually, up in the mountain alone with God. And when he finally did come down from the mountain, he was totally unaware of how brilliant his face was shining so brilliant that his brother Aaron and the people of Israel were afraid to come near him. Now, what had caused Moses' face to shine? In 2 Corinthians, Paul actually tells us that Moses' face shone with the glory of God. In other words, God's glory had rubbed off on Moses. And this happened because Moses had spent times of intimacy and openness with his God. The Apostle Paul explains that we too can reflect that glory on our face when we are being transformed into His glorious image and made to become more and more like Him. But this can only happen when we spend time listening closely to God when He speaks, having our hearts being totally open to Him when He tells us He wants to make changes in our lives, yielding our will completely to Him, obeying Him unreservedly and following Him wholeheartedly. Let me ask you, is your face shining with the glory of God? Can people see and know and say that you have been with God, that you have been talking with God? You see, your face will shine with the inner purity and that holiness of God. And that can only come from deep intimacy and communion with God Himself. And so today, my wish for you is that God may draw you nearer and closer to Him and deeper into His love and communion with Him as you spend time with our loving God. May God bless you all.